Hello, in this segment, we're going to show you how to connect to the internet using a wireless internet connection. So the first thing we want to do is turn on our Sylvania SmartBook. Once we have it turned on, we're going to want to make sure that our wireless radio is on. And the easiest way to do this is by going down into the bottom right system tray and looking for this little blue screen icon with the waves coming off to the side of it. This indicates our wireless radio is on. If for some reason you don't have this icon in your system tray, just press the F9 button. The F9 button turns your wireless radio on and off. So if it's not showing up, like right now, just go over, tap the F9 button, and give it a second and it'll come up. So we now know that our Wi-Fi radio is turned on. Now to connect to a wireless network, I'm going to double click, and I'm going to be presented with a window. It has three tabs. I'm going to move over to the farthest tab to the right, which is the wireless information tab. Now the SmartBook is going to scan for available Wi-Fi networks. Now, if you have a network that doesn't have any encryption, all you have to do is double click on it and it'll connect automatically. But if your network does have encryption, like most home Wi-Fi hotspots do, you're going to have to know what your encryption is and what your password is. If you don't know those offhand, you're going to have to either ask your ISP, which is the company that provides you internet access, or ask the person who set up your wireless network in your home. That might be Verizon, your son or daughter, whoever it may be. So I happen to know all of these things. So I'm going to click, I'm going to mouse over to the network that I want to connect to, and I'm going to double click. And since there is authentication that needs to happen here. It's going to present me with this properties window. So what I'm going to have to do is go down here to encryption and select the correct encryption. In my case it's AES. Then I'm going to go down to the authentication window and put in the right authentication. In my case again it's WPA2-PSK. Then I'm going to click in this last window where it asks me for the network key. And I'm going to put in the key for my network. Once you enter in the key, go ahead and press OK. Now your smart book is going to scan the network, connect with it, and it's telling me that I'm authenticated and connected to the network and my signal strength is excellent. Now, I'm going to go over and close the window by hitting the OK button. If you look at your wireless icon now, you'll notice that the red X that was there before is gone. If you see the red X, it indicates that you're not connected to a Wi-Fi network. If there's no red X, that means you are. Now, don't worry. You're only going to have to do this step once. You're not going to have to repeatedly do it every single time you turn on your computer and want to connect to a Wi-Fi network. You're only going to have to do it when you connect to a new Wi-Fi network that you haven't connected to before. Now, to make sure that we actually are connected to the Internet, I'm going to come over here to Internet Explorer, double-click, and try to open up a web page. There we go. We're connected.